All right, so there's different methods on how to install a lawn or how to prep a lawn for a sod installation. So let me first talk to you about how, how some people do it and how we do it a little bit differently. Uh, shout out to Coca-Cola. Got one of those going on today. It's, uh, it hits the spot. Okay, anyways. So uh, some people will go through and they'll till the whole lawn and then they'll try to compress it a little bit and lay the grass. That's one way to do things, except that your existing grass is actually still alive. So it's going to start coming back up. About four weeks later, you're gonna notice it. it might start ticking you off, especially if you are going from a St. Augustine lawn, which is a very dominant grass, to an existing lawn of some sort. Whether it's a new Bermuda lawn or a new Zoysia lawn, something other than St. Augustine. If you had St. Augustine in here before and they just tilled it under, then it's the same as sprigging a lawn. Sprigging a lawn is just putting plugs all over the place, right? So if you just till all that stuff under, you're not gonna be happy about four or five weeks later when it's all coming back. So what we do is we'll hit it all with Roundup. So the key is to kill the grass, right? So tilling it under is, is gonna do a good job of destroying a whole lot of that vegetation, but you're gonna have plenty of it that just survives that crazy, awesome tilling. So let me get rid of that phone call, bam. All right, so what we, what we do is we come in and we kill the turf. So you're gonna kill it with Roundup, you're gonna spray it once, come back a couple days later, spray it again. You're gonna wait until that chemical is inactive, about 10 days or so, and then you can start doing your installation process. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll arrive here on the site, and this will all look like just dead hay, right? Just a bunch of dead grass everywhere. And what we'll do, here, let me just show you what dead grass looks like because this is a visual thing, right? Boom, a bunch of dead grass. And so what we'll do is we'll just hit it all with a string trimmer. So some people say, why don't you remove a whole turf? Well, because we don't wanna disturb all that soil because for the most part, it may be level. So if we rototill the whole thing, it's gonna be a whole lot of work to do that. And the roots are already dead, so we don't really care about tilling it up, right? Now, if it was really, really compacted or you had some uneven spots or some huge hills or something like that, yeah, we're going to disturb that dirt and make it more level. But if you don't have that problem, we'll zip it all down to the dirt line with our string trimmers. What that'll reveal, and I don't know if you can tell it with all these shadows and everything in here, but it'll show you your uneven spots, and there's plenty of that in here. And you'll, you'll see that we'll notice wide areas were pooling with water over here. And in, we can see the natural grade of where this water wants to flow. And we'll wanna encourage that flow. So what we'll do is like over there where we have a little low spot, we'll add some soil. Maybe we'll knock down a little bit of a hill right here with the sod cutter and just plane it off a little bit right in there and allow that water to flow out here more easily. And then after all of that is done, we can come back in here. And this is really, instead of tilling up the whole lawn and doing all that stuff, it's easier and better for the lawn to bring in a compost mix soil and we can spread that so evenly and then we can drag that stuff with our sand trap rakes and our leveling rakes and that sand uh, and compost mix uh, will fall into the low spots and it'll, we'll, our leveling rakes will scrape it off the high spots. So at the end of the day, it'll be nice and smooth, right? So that's, that's a fine grade. And then after we do that, we're gonna compact that soil a little bit um, with our lawn roller. So we don't just use the lawn roller on the, on the sod. You wanna use that lawn roller. If, if it's a, you end up putting down a thick compost mix, might as well compress it a little bit with a lawn roller. So, you know, if you walk through the lawn while installing your sod, you're gonna leave big old footprints. So, but if you compress that, that soil, you'll leave tinier footprints less impact into the soil and so whenever you lay your grass it's going to be more even at the end so that's what we do and that's the fastest awesomest and best way to uh to level a lawn and so uh when you see a bunch of guys out here removing a lawn with a string trimmer not a rototiller well it's not a bad thing that's the best way to do it so these roots are dead there's no reason to powder up all this soil and make it to where all the footprints go about eight inches deep every time, you know, waste a whole lot of manpower for something that's not needed. We, all we need is dirt contact. So we, we could get dirt contact just laying the grass right down here after we string trim it and rake out all the debris. But that doesn't give us that fine grade leveling 
And so that's what you, that's why we bring in that compost mix soil. It helps with the fine grade leveling, but it also, of course, it's nutrient rich because it's a compost mix. And so that'll feed and just like putting potting soil in for your flowers, it'll feed that new lawn, let it root in a lot faster. So I like nice jobs like this. Guys can stay in one place for a long time, make nice, awesome squares everywhere. Customer's gonna be extremely happy. He's got a lot of shade here. So his, he had Bermuda grass. He had sections of Bermuda grass out here that were all healthy. Sections up here in the shade that were just, well, it was basically dirt up here in the shade. So he's gonna do a little bit of tree trimming because we still need three to four hours because we're doing zoysia grass. But uh, we're gonna get that those three to four hours. We're gonna get this zoysia grass in here. We're gonna fine grade level this place and it'll look amazing. So that's all I got to say about that. Hope you guys didn't struggle too much this winter with all those frozen plants out there. Seems like every house we saw has some dead ones, but good luck to you getting some new shrubs this year. You ought to get a new lawn because that's just the thing to do. It's pretty cool. You'll be uh, like one of the cool kids. And uh, anyways, we have fun. You, you have fun too. Bye.